Welcome to Grumpy Guy Gaming and today I'm going to show you how to paint a beta from Project Elite. It's one of the monsters. We had runner before. You can check it out on my channel. Uh, now it's Biter's turn. Uh, it's a very simple paint job. Uh, nothing spectacular. We're going to do mostly weld blending to implement different colors to the model. But dry brushing. The only thing on this model I have, don't do the base. Just to shorten it down because it's the same base as the runner, so you can watch the previous, the first video of Project Elite. That's it. Let's go to the table and hopefully you enjoy it. And this is the model. We're going to be undercoat with black and then a zenithal highlight on him. And we're going to start with Cadian Flesh Stone, Citadel Layer. Using a big brush, we're just going to slap on, do the base color on it. Just one layer at the moment. You won't do standard practice here, like uh, doing two thin layers. Uh, I'm going to speed up the video during the, uh, the whole process but I'm going to leave so you can see what I'm doing all the time so I'll not cut any part of the video itself this color scheme is fairly quick uh, sh should be easy for you guys to handle and don't be um, afraid to mess up it's normal part, part of the learning curve now, that's it. while it's still wet, we're going to take scarcely green and wet blend it on the parts we want, let's a little bit greener. And we get a nice variation of colors, more lifelike, and then I wanted to differentiate my uh, minions or zombies in uh, Project Elite, so I think green will make it pop up, pop out a little bit. See it's nicely mixed with the main color. Then we're going to use a little bit of corn red and just to add more color to it and you can see that all the base colors are still fairly wet. We're not waiting for them to dry. And we're just adding the corn red into the crevices and part of the thing should be a little bit reddy, reddish. Now how much you're going to add this depends on you, how much red you want it to be uh, on your model, but it's more uh, personal preference. Then after the corn red we're going to go use Zerpius purple my English and saying these paints is horrible again we're going to add in some places just this purple just to give a little bit more life to the model more color variations and everything this is this technique is good for mainly organic uh, miniatures might work on the armor but I'll have to try it sometimes. You can see I'm doing it fast. Wish I painted like this normally. <laughs> I would have a warm in uh, two days finished. Again, just adding all around. It's nothing spectacular, this color scheme. Now that we're done with the uh, purple, we're going to come back with a little bit of scarcely green again. Just to, uh, uh, how do you say, re-highlight the raised areas. Just a little bit, not too much. Because we want the, the green to be actually the main color of this model. But not too green. It's not at all. <laughs> uh, you can see I'm adding only on the raised areas. 
nothing spectacular. Now that the model has dried, we can use a hairdryer for that. We're going to use ivory from model color and fairly lightly remove almost all the paint from the brush and then you can see I messed up a little bit. Uh, come back and just go all over the model. This brush, uh, dry brush. <laughs> and it will unify everything and look nice, at least for me. Again, you could go standard and re-highlight everything, but it just will take too long and it's a board game miniature, so I think this technique is good enough for to have a nice looking model and still not waste too much time on painting. I can see I'm coming back, going around all the model. Um, you can do this uh, how many times you want, come back later if you just to clean up everything and when you're happy, that's it. My explanations are horrible. <laughs> now that we finished the dry brush, I'm going to use quick shade strong tone from Army Painter and we're going to just add it where the teeth are where some recesses are, where we want more shadows. So we're not going to go all over the model. So adding it a little bit to the mouth. Also. Oh, looking at me painting, it's horrible. <laughs> uh, I can see I'm doing a little bit in the recesses, but most of the shadows will be. Again, this is personal preference. You also need to add it a little bit where, the, where its nails are, or claws, or whatever you want to call them. If you make a mistake, just clean the brush up and just come back and Bring it up, just don't let it pull too much. As you can see, it's already giving definition to the model a little bit. Now I'm just adding a little bit there, here and there, just to define some features. And that's it. Now we're going to take ivory again and just paint the claws, nails, teeth. This is optional, you don't need to do it if you don't want to. I'm going to add just one color. It's like I said, it's only a board game miniature, so I'll have about 30 of them to do, so there's no point in wasting too much time on them. Uh, you could go with uh, pure white after ivory. But like I said, it's optional. And that's it. Now the last part is the base. And here I'm going to paint it black. Uh, if you want to know how I actually do the bases uh, for my project league, you can check the runner video. I think I'll try to put the link. Get it. And it's simple. You can leave it like this, or you can do it however you want. Just do the trim. And once the model is dry, take a matte varnish, varnish him, and you're ready to play. Nothing spectacular, but it's a finished model. And the biter is finished. Like I said, it's nothing spectacular. Uh, it's a fast paint job. Uh, but it looks okay, more or less. 
Uh, what else should I say? Uh, leave a comment below, tell me what you think. What should I change tutorials? What should I add? Say how great I am. <laughs> how wonderful this tutorial was. It probably wasn't. Uh, because I know when I upload the tutorial, I lose subscribers, but uh, what the hell. <laughs> uh, subscribe to my channel if you really like it. Uh, hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. And thank you for watching and stay grumpy.